If you're in the public safety field and you're using drones or you're about to want to start using drones, what a day this is. DJI has a huge announcement today that really is a game changer. You know, we talked about this in the last couple of videos about how I don't like using the word game changer very often. And boy, if this isn't a game changer, I have no idea what is because today we have some great technology coming up that's gonna help public safety enormously in so many different ways. And they are even building and improving upon some features and functionality of the Matrice 300 and what is a great price line because previously we have an aircraft here like the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced that is basically a Mavic 2 with a thermal camera but what a lot of public safety need is something water resistive. They need something with really good zoom capability and thermal camera technology and wind resistance and prior to today we have not been able to do that unless we get into a Matrice line of aircraft, which is now obviously the Matrice 300, and that price range is definitely, there's like no gap between this and this. Now, there's a perfect solution that bridges that gap right in the middle, right in the middle between the price line and also in the size, because now we have something that's more powerful, that's more portable, more affordable, and it really changes the landscape of what we're gonna have here. So we're gonna walk you guys through every step of the way with what we have here. We're gonna start also taking pre-orders immediately. We're gonna have this on our website ready to go, and we're gonna get you everything you need to know about all of the new changes and what we have here. So the new aircraft is called the Matrice 30. The new aircraft has three different versions, the standard Matrice 30, the Matrice 30T with a thermal option, and also the Matrice 30 dock version, which we'll get into the dock version in a few minutes. Again, also to start off with, which is huge, is that this new aircraft is water resistive. So again, this is the first drone in its price range to be water resistive. And that is a true, true game changer. Up until now, we've had the Mavic size and the Matrice size. And anyone who's seen the Matrice in person knows that it takes a rather large travel case to be able to deploy this. Now, we got something in between that fits perfectly for like a patrol car so that we can use something that's larger than this, but smaller than the Matrice and a very compact, easy to deploy type of a package. The new aircraft does not use landing gear. It's gonna have an easier setup time. It'll be very similar type to the Mavic 3, for example. And what's great also about not having landing gear is that it's now no longer gonna have those landing gear in a lot of the shots. So if you're familiar with using a Matrice 200 or a Matrice 300, you'll know that once we get to a certain point, the landing gear often get in the way. Now, this is a very great addition of not having that issue with this new aircraft. Also, one of the cool features I really love about the new aircraft is the quick deployment of the booms and props. Just by hitting one simple button, we'll be able to unlock the boom and get it ready. This aircraft is fully redundant, and it also is able to perform emergency landings on three props. We have a brand new payload. So to help accommodate everybody's budget needs and what their limitations are, DGI has made two different models, the 30T and the standard M30. Obviously, the T stands for thermal, so we have a payload that is a 4-in-1 camera that has thermal capabilities. It is the same 640 by 512 resolution camera, and then a version that is a 3-in-1 camera that does not have the thermal capabilities for those that are have their budgets a little more tighter. They're actually taking a lot of the electronics that was in the H20 T camera and now putting that into the new aircraft body. 
So that is going to make that camera a smaller, more compact, more efficient model. So part of the payload, we have a zoom camera that has up to 16 times optical zoom and 200 times digital zoom in a 48 megapixel camera sensor. So let's talk about the new payload camera sensor and how it stacks up to the Matrice 300's H20 camera. The H20 has a 20 megapixel camera and it's 23 times optical zoom and up to 200 times digital zoom. And we can read a license plate clearly from up to 1500 feet away. Now, it's not quite as many times optical zoom, being 16 times optical zoom with the new payload, but it is a 48 megapixel camera sensor. So we're very anxious to be able to test that out and see how that's gonna compare. We're gonna do a full comprehensive review video as soon as we possibly can, hopefully in the next two to three weeks. The new rangefinder will be able to measure objects of point of interest up to 1200 meters now, whereas we could realistically get only about 12 to 1400 feet with the older H20 and H20T cameras. So that's a major improvement on there as well. The new aircraft has a self-heating function that removes fog from the lens in foggy conditions. The smart low light function feature has imaging algorithms that are gonna automatically adjust the brightness based on the current light conditions. Let's talk about wind resistance. The new Matrice 30 is rated up to 34 miles an hour wind. That's pretty good considering that the older Mavic Enterprise Advanced was right around 20 miles an hour. So that adds a lot of capability and that's almost as good as the Matrice 300, which we have tested up to 40 mile an hour winds in Florida. So now let's talk about the new TB30 batteries that come with the new aircraft. They look very similar in appearance to the Mavic 3 aircraft batteries. They're more sleek, they're more refined. Again, there's two of them that are gonna be with this aircraft and they are claiming up to 41 minutes of flight time with the new aircraft. Well, we're gonna obviously test the new aircraft fully. We anticipate realistically, probably the numbers are gonna fall more between the 30 and 33 minute flight time mark. Now, it looks like DJI is really listening to us when it comes to the new batteries. And as far as the modes that we can put them in, there is a standard mode, there is a fast charge mode, and there is what's called a ready to fly mode that's gonna keep the aircraft batteries at 90%. So for the public safety guys out there that need to be able to have their batteries running, ready to go, they're gonna be able to keep them at 90%. But personally, Steel City Drones is very happy to hear that there is going to be a storage mode on a new battery charging station, which is claiming to be very close and similar to the BS60 battery charging station. It's going to be able to have four batteries charging, but only two batteries charging at one time. We have now what's called the RC Pro. The RC Pro controller is a brand new controller specifically designed for the Matrice 30, it's a bigger screen, it's brighter, it's wider, and it has more features and functionality. The new RC Pro has a seven inch monitor and eight additional buttons and has an IP54 water resistive rating. Alongside the new RC Pro smart controller is the addition of a new Pilot 2 flight app. So they've taken the existing flight app and streamlined it, they've made it more intuitive and make the workflow process that even that much more efficient. Another new great feature with the Matrice 30 is that it has an improved FPV camera. It is a low light FPV camera to allow us to be able to conduct a lot safer flights at nighttime, especially if you're gonna go ahead and get the non-thermal camera version. This new aircraft has six-way sensing and positioning capabilities and it uses OcuSync 3, which is gonna be compatible up to 15 kilometers away, and it uses now what's called quad antenna transmission technology for improved actual reception between the remote controller and the aircraft. Like the Matrice 300, the new Matrice 30 uses a two-puck RTK professional-grade GPS system on it, 
and it's going to really provide added protection for magnetic and electromagnetic interference that we can run into. Our partners over at CZI also have told us that they have released a new payload system for this already called the LP-12. It is a combination of a loudspeaker and spotlight, and it's going to go on top of the drone, and it's going to be a very effective way to be able to continue adding STK technology and different payloads for different applications on here. So now we have a very good effective public safety drone here. Now we're going to be able to even make it more effective with a loudspeaker and a spotlight also as well. DJI has also announced that the new Matrice 30 is compatible with the brand new Flight Hub 2 that was just released and announced today as well. And that's going to have a lot of integration, a lot of features and functionality that we're just again really learning and still scratching the surface of what it can do. We'll get you more information on that as it comes up. And lastly, the Matrice 30 is going to be compatible with what's called the new drone dock. And it's going to be what they call a set it and leave it station. It's going to have an integrated weather station, security camera, RTK capabilities, backup cameras. The new drone dock is also going to allow us to be able to charge the TB30 batteries in up to 25 minutes, up to 90% capacity. So that's everything that we know to date. As we get more information, we'll add that up there. We're going to do a complete review video, and we have this on our website and are taking pre-orders right now. So we're going to obviously fulfill our pre-orders in the order that they're received. And if you're interested, please let me know. Give us a call, email us. And if you have any questions, put them down in the comments section below. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll talk to you soon.